Hello, my third grade friends. Well, I'm out here in one of my favorite spots in Rockaway Beach, and I thought we'd come out here for a little fresh air and some recorder fun today. So, we are up to when the saints go marching in. So hopefully you've been keeping up with your belts, and as always, you go at your own pace, but if you have been able to go week by week with me and my lessons, then we are up to when the saints go marching in. And I encourage you, if you're able to, when you've mastered one of the songs, have someone take a video of yourself and send it to me so that I can write down that you've earned your belt and give you some helpful hints along the way as well. So, when the Saints Go Marching In has a couple of new things for us. It has two new notes. We finally have another space note. You know, our only space note that we've been reading in our recorder music has been what? A, right? The second space. Well, now we have a new note, C, which is on, you probably can't see this from where I am, but the C is right here. It's the third note, and it's on the bottom of your page as well. It'll, it'll show you what the C looks like. And the C is a little bit different to play for us. We're going to play with our thumb, but we're going to skip our pointer, and we're going to put down our middle finger on the second hole. So this is our C note, and it sounds like this. It's pretty easy to make a good sound and pretty easy not to squeak on a C. And the next note that's new for us is high D. And high D on the bottom of your page is on the fourth line from the bottom. And it is a line note. It is D. I call it high D, but it's really D with a little one because we're going to learn low D. Not today, but another day. So high D is the same as C. So thumb and pointer, but we're going to take off our thumb. So it's only our middle finger, and it sounds like this. Again, easy to make a sound on the high D. So try to play the high D, just your middle finger, no thumb. Now let's practice going from C to D, from C to D. So you're just going to put your thumb on and take your thumb off. So thumb and middle finger. Let's play three C's and three D's. Okay, get ready. Here we go. Take your thumb off. Put your thumb back. Take your thumb off. Very good. So the third thing that's new in When the Saints Go Marching In is this tie. If you look above the word Saints, you'll see there's a high D, the D1, and there's a curved line going over to the next D1. That is called a tie, T-I-E. And just like your shoelaces, tie your, your shoes laces together. You have two shoelaces, you tie them together, you attach them. This tie attaches two notes together. So we're only going to play it one time. We're only going to say, do once, but we're going to hold it for an extra beat. So this is a whole note, which gives us four beats. We're going to tie it to this quarter note, which is one beat. So what is four plus one? We're going to hold it for five beats. So it'll be, oh, when the saints. It's not, oh, when the saints. Saints, right? We don't, we don't play it twice but we hold it for an extra beat. Same here, five beats. Then same here. So everywhere you see a tie, you're going to hold it for five beats, okay? Let me play it for you. Okay, here we go.
So that's when the saints. Okay. Now I'm going to play it once super slowly. So as you get to learn how to play it, you can play it along with me. Okay. So here I go. Here's my tempo. Tempo is your speed. One, two, three, four. Here I go. So have fun practicing. Don't get frustrated. It's not easy. And uh, let me just show you, I'll just show you my view here. All around the waves and those dots out there, I don't know if you can see them, but they're surfers. Oh, here come some surfers now. Say hi to the surfers, everybody. They're going surfing. Okay. See you next time. Miss you.